What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're going to be doing a review of a custom Channel 6 news van. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is my take on the Channel 6 news van. Uh, as you could tell, this was an old Scooby-Doo. Um, one of those Scooby-Doo vans, I don't know what the mystery machine I think it's called. Uh, so that's what it was and I converted it into the Channel 6 news van. Um, this is, if you guys don't know what uh, Scooby-Doo uh, vehicle I'm talking about, this is what it looked like. And this is what I turned it into. So uh, let's get right into the specs and show you guys all the little details that I put into it. All this is this is all painted on, all the little details painted on. Of course, I I mixed a few colors to make this color. Uh, originally, I had a darker color, and then I kept watching the cartoons, and I was like, uh, that's not the right color. So I think this is this matches it better, or at least I think. Um, as far as the front, I don't know why this is so blurry. Um, the, I, I have no idea why it's so blurry. That's the way it came. Uh, let me know you guys in the comments down below if you guys got a blurry glass. I guess I could change that. Uh, but then I had to take the whole thing apart and then change the whole thing again. But uh, maybe. Maybe I'll do it. This came with it. If you guys uh, know the van came with a little rack up here with like surfboards and it had a bunch of little lights here. And uh, I took all that out and it left a bunch of holes. Um, and so I decided to refill all the holes so all the holes are filled up uh, some of them I didn't feel too well because the stuff that I was working with wasn't all that great but I mean for the most part it looks it's pretty decent it looks pretty decent uh, so I filled up all the holes because I didn't I didn't want a bunch of holes on top uh, this is part of the lights they have like four little lights here I just chopped out the lights and I put it there and then down here also, if you guys can see, there's two little lights. I chopped the little front part of the light, and I just stuck them on here. Here, there used to be a a tire, the spare tire on the original. Uh, this is what this is what it actually was. And when you press it, the lights go on. Uh, so I had to switch everything around because I know that the that the Channel 6 band didn't have the spare tire up front. A lot of people that customized this vehicle, they just left this up here and I just put like Turtles or Channel 6 or something right here. Uh, I decided to chop it off, fill it in, and um, uh, so it could look more like the van, put these little lights here. And uh, this light still works, so I had to rewire everything. And then uh, to rewire everything, I had a. it still works with the batteries, the original batteries. You take this off and the original batteries come out. Um, or the original um, battery pack, I guess, or where you store the batteries at, or you, where you put in the batteries. Um, sorry, my camera didn't want to focus there. Um, I rewired everything, put new lights into it, so it still works. Even without that piece, that piece, you, the, the thing with that piece too is that there, I didn't like is that once you click it, it'll stay on for like a few seconds or probably even a minute and then shut off on its own. I wanted it to actually turn on whenever you wanted to turn on. Just leave them on as long as you want them on and then turn them off whenever uh, you want them off. So I created that little switch for it. And then inside here, uh, I don't know if you guys could see with Vernon in the way. But there's, uh, there's a little book there, there's a little, um, like a little GPS on top of there. And I also made uh, the little laptop. And then if you guys could see, it's a little turtle communicator in there. So yeah, I made that too and I painted the seats, I painted inside the interior, I painted all of this, I painted the little steering wheel stuff in there, the little gauges up top. Um, and uh, I even painted the bottom of this van. Originally it was like a blue, so I painted the bottom, painted the wheels. Uh, uh, as far as the, as far as the top goes, uh, I made these. I I um, 3D printed these, um, so I made these little antennas on top. This came. This originally came with the van, uh, but it was like back here somewhere. I. I don't really remember, but it, it was part of the van, part of the mystery wagon or whatever it's called. And uh, 
I chopped it off and I put it here because it has one. It doesn't look exactly like this, but it's like lower or something. And I just didn't want to chop everything off. So I just put it there. That way I have something to hold on to and glue it onto the actual vehicle. So that's why I did it the way I did. And then this thing I made myself and you could actually rotate it. The cool part about this, NECA, I know you guys are watching. You guys better not copy me because I've been noticing but there's been a lot of stuff that you guys have been uh, copying me on. But anyways, uh, so you can rotate this. Check that out. There's a little, uh, this little uh, knob down here. Right there. And you could actually turn this uh, camera. But let me sit April right there and you guys could see that uh, it actually holds April on there. Alright, so there goes April on top of the camera. And you could just rotate it when she's there. So, here you go. He's looking at you, kid. So you can rotate her all the way around if you wanted to. And yeah, it holds her pretty well on there. So, anyways, so on the back, I put these little, uh, I don't know what it is, but I seen it on the cartoons, so I just added it on there. And then I 3D printed this thing. I don't think you guys could see all the way in there, but it's so dark in there. Maybe I could put some more light. Well, let me put a little bit more light in there so you guys can see. All right, so that's the inside. As you can see, I put all the little doohickeys in there, little gadgets and all that stuff, all the little buttons, all that good nonsense that it has in there. And it has a little screens there, and then it has a little screens on top there. I had a, I had a, man, I had a customize all this stuff because uh, as you guys can see, this van for some reason it slants downward, downwards. And so when I put these screens, they were all the same size originally. And then I put them in here and it got stuck on top because there's like little little hinges on top and little uh, pieces of plastic up there. So I had to custom fit each single one and then there. And so, yeah, so I had to do all that. And then also you could see it has little plugs up there. I guess I guess I messed up. I didn't, I didn't think it was going to go all the way back there where, the, where this thing would have covered it. I sh next time I, I think I'm since I 3d printed this I designed the whole thing I actually I got a reference from uh, Google uh, I looked some Google some Google stuff up but I did see somebody on Instagram had it I'm not 100% sure who posted it I've seen it before but when I googled it this thing came out so that's where I got the reference to make this um, so uh, if you guys are looking for references go on Google and you guys can see uh, where I got this from so, so I designed it looking at that reference and i designed this whole thing on tinker cart so uh it make you could make like 3d shapes and all kinds of things and then print out whatever you make on tinker cart so um and then so i had made this without thinking that this was going to cover it i thought this was going to be a little bit more this way so i guess i could change this uh like the plugs and all that like move it here so you could actually see them uh, i mean you could see them there but i mean in person you could actually see them like if you look it's like it's there but on camera of course it's going to be covered on this thing but uh so yeah so all right guys so that is it that's going to wrap it up that's all the stuff i did to it um if you enjoyed it please don't forget to hit the thumbs up um this one itself it's already going to somebody somebody already bought this one um but if you guys want me to make one for you um i'll be more than happy to make one for you but keep in mind that there's so much work that goes into this thing and a lot of detail that goes into this thing as you guys could see is a lot of work from transforming into this into this van so there you go there's it's a big transformation so keep in mind that it, it takes a lot of work to convert these vans so just uh you know the price isn't gonna be cheap just uh, just letting you know but this one's already sold but if you guys want me to make you guys one uh let me know in the comments down below or you guys could send me an email on recreating at gmail.com or you guys could follow me on instagram on rick underscore creating underscore uh, art um you guys could follow me on instagram send me a message there um but yeah all that stuff is going to be linked down below so you guys could go check it out uh you can just click on it and it'll take you right to my page or to my email so thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.